Now, there seems to be constant coverage in the media about how tough it is to have the Kiwi dream of owning your own home, especially in Auckland or Christchurch. But is that the case, or is there a way to get that first leg up on the property ladder? Joining us today to find out more is registered financial advisor and property apprentice owner, Debbie Roberts. Welcome, Debbie. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. No worries. Look, is it realistic? Is it still, I guess, something Kiwis can achieve, that Kiwi dream of owning their own home? Absolutely. I think, you know, it's always been difficult to get your foot on the property ladder. So whether that's buying your first home or investment, that first one's always the hardest. But there's definitely more than one way to skin a cat, so to speak. Well, you're going to tell us about that now, I guess. Um, you know, what's the first things you need to know when you're going to buy a property? So what I would suggest, the first thing that you should do is, is speak to a good mortgage advisor to find out how much you can actually borrow. And then what I would really like to see people start doing is um, once you've worked out how much you can borrow, work out how much you can afford to borrow. So crunch your numbers on what that mortgage would cost you on a property and um, you know, crunch the numbers at today's interest rates for sure, but also double check how much that mortgage would cost you if interest rates were a lot higher. So let's say 7.5% because that's only just slightly higher than the long term average for the interest rates in this country. So if you can't afford the interest payments on a mortgage at 7.5%, then in my opinion you can't afford to buy that house because you get yourself into some trouble. So you're saying be safe and don't rush into it? Absolutely, absolutely. So you know there's, there's smart ways of going about doing it and as I mentioned before you know there's, there's more than one way to get your foot onto the property ladder. Okay what about um, if you're not sure if you want to buy an investment property or somewhere to live in what should you consider? I think there's a number of things that you should consider. The most important thing is that there's a massive difference between buying a home and buying an investment property. You know, um, buying an investment property is not about the emotions, so you need to take as much of the emotion out of that equation as possible. You need to learn the rules of the game, because if you don't know the rules of the game, you run the risk of losing a lot of money. So there's, there's a whole bunch of things that you need to learn and understand. So yeah, my advice is to get a good education to learn the rules of that business of owning property investments. That is very hard because you go to an auction or you go to an open home and you fall in love basically straight away, don't you? What about if you want to um, move into a really beautiful, expensive place, but it's expensive to buy, cheaper to rent in? Yeah. So Paul and myself, Paul's my husband, uh, our actual first property we, we bought to live in ourselves. It was a little grotty house in a grotty little area because that was literally all we could afford at the time. So uh, once, we'd, once we'd finished renovating it, we actually rented that out and then leveraged off the increased value in that property to buy other investment properties until we were in a position that we could buy ourselves a home in the area that we wanted to live in without being mortgaged up to the eyeballs. You know, so I guess you could say that we, we built a rental portfolio before we bought our own home. Mm. Imagine if they put a train in Auckland. You'd be buying property up and down the coast, wouldn't you? But anyway. <laughs> do that anyway. Oh, <laughs> sure. um, thanks so much for joining us. Um, you know, I learned a lot once again.